Hi, it's Mining44 here and today I invite you to a short review of the clicker from Perun Airsoft. The product for the review was provided by Perun Airsoft. Triggers in electric replicas, especially those with MOSFET units, are not known for their realistic operation. We press the trigger and magically, without warning, replica just shoots. For many people seeking realism, such trigger action practically rules out electric replicas from use, and personally I know people who for this reason at every possible opportunity prefer to use GBBR replicas. For just such people, Perron came out with its clicker. It's an accessory for the Perron Hybrid version 2 unit, which by its action is supposed to make the trigger action in the AG similar to known from the real deal. So let's see how it works and how to mount it, but for starters let's do probably the smallest unboxing on this channel. Clicker comes to us in a small cardboard box and inside you will find the clicker itself, that's all. The instructions for it can be found on the manufacturer's website, to which we have a shortcut on the package in the form of a QR code, but let's take a look at the accessory itself. The clicker is made with 3D printing technology and its shape has been designed in such a way that it should fit most versions to gearboxes available on the market. It has been tested on a large number of shells and triggers, information about which we can found in the manual. But please note that Perrin was not able to test the clicker in every possible configuration on the market, so you have to take into account that some problems may occur if your setup is somehow extremely non-standard. In case of a ordinary replicas, I think it will be rather plug and play. The clicker works thanks to use of magnets. One is located here, to which a screw is attracted, so you can feel the resistance on the trigger, and the other is needed for the trigger movement detection by the Perron Hybrid version 2 unit, for which the clicker was designed. The resistance of the magnet is quite high, and the point when you break the force of the magnet is strongly felt. But if you want to make the resistance lower, you can adjust it with the screw inside the clicker. By screwing it in with a small Allen key, you move the screw away from the magnet, which reduces the force needed to break the attraction force. By unscrewing it, you bring the screw closer to the magnet and increase the resistance. By default, the clicker is set at the maximum force. Installation of the clicker is relatively simple. Due to the fact that I already have a Perron Hybrid version 2 unit installed in my Spetsnaz SEH12, I only need to remove the magnet from the trigger and insert the clicker itself together with the trigger into the shell. If you have a safety lever installed in your replica, then you will also have to remove it. I put the other half of the shell on to check if everything works as it should, and as you can see, everything is fine. In the case of the Spesa Arms SAH-12 shell, I had to just put the clicker in, which I think will look the same for most replicas with the version 2 gearboxes available on the market. With the clicker and a standard trigger in place, however, you can expect a lot of free travel, that is the movement of the trigger before it reaches the wall, you simply feel the resistance. Such phenomenon is completely normal in real steel, so for the sake of realism you can leave it that way. But if you like to feel the resistance practically immediately, you can use an adjustable trigger or glue something here to shorten the path of the trigger to the clicker. It is important, however, that the trigger does not rest directly on the clicker in the rest position, but there is some slack, which ensures smooth operation and trigger reset. Time for a test. I switch the selector to semi and nothing happens. Why? Well, for the proper operation of the replica with the clicker, you need to switch the trigger sensitivity to level 5 on both firing modes. And if you change the resistance force of the clicker, it may be required even level 4. Now everything works as it should. The impression of using the trigger is really satisfying. The resistance is considerable and the break point is sudden. The trigger rested is very clear not only due to the audible click, but also due to the resistance you feel when the magnet pulls the screw. In addition, in the replica I have mounted 13 to 1 gears with short stroke and additionally set a considerable pre-cocking, so that along with the feeling of the trigger break, the shot falls immediately, which further enhances the effect. The first time I encountered a realistic trigger simulation system was in the Jeptron Leviathan, but there it worked on the principle of a steel spring which the trigger must overcome. Such a solution creates resistance and is certainly more interesting than its absence, but the trigger itself is quite soft and the moment of breaking is not pronounced as in the Perron solution. The clicker in this case makes a much better impression. Testing in the workshop is one thing, but what are the impressions of using the replica with the clicker while playing? I have to say that it's quite an interesting experience, especially when, as I mentioned, after the trigger break a shot immediately falls. 
Thanks to some pre-travel I could press the trigger all the way to the wall and only break it at the moment I wanted to fire a shot. Which I like very much because I like to know clearly at the which moment of the pressing of the trigger the shot falls. After my review of the clicker on the Instagram, I also received a question about whether the clicker negatively affects the rate of fire on semi, and here it depends on what kind of rate of fire we are talking about. If we mean spamming the trigger like a speed softer, then the clicker is rather unsuitable for this. However, during normal play, thanks to clear reset, I was able to fire shots on the semi with a rate of fire sufficient in my opinion, and I do not know if it was less than without the clicker. Clicker is a product for people who are looking for a little more realism when using an electric powered replica. In my opinion, it's an ideal accessory for AG for people who use a lot of GBBR replicas or have contact with firearms. Thanks to the clicker, the transition from them to the AG will be for such people a little more bearable. The installation itself is easy and thanks to the possibility of adjustment we can set it to our requirements. I will say frankly that I do not think that such a simple feature would appeal to me so much and it will be nice to see similar solutions from other manufacturers. That will be all for today, let me know if you liked today's short review and what do you think of the clicker, and if you use one, how it works for you. And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time!